let's move into security. OWASP uh, is an organization that publish uh, security related stuff for the web and the and mobiles. So uh, every now and then they publish this top 10 list of most common areas where developers fail while developing web apps or mobile apps. So um, let's have a look at the OWASP top 10 for mobile. So I think the latest one is 2016. So the top one is improper platform use um, that you don't really understand, for instance, how the permissions work. It might be other features of the, the platform SDK that you don't understand. So as an example of this, we can go to an application that OWASP has developed that contains vulnerabilities. So it's, it's like a poorly built app that can be used for demos. Uh, so it's called Forgoats. Um, so this one has a login page. Let's let's get this file. Let's get this APK. So again, it'll be shell pm packages grab for. So that was before go. So it'll be uh, path of oh, shell pm path. Edible for go APK. Uh, let's go into the APK Studio for go decompile. That's important to the ID part no, for go. Next, next, next finish so let's see so looking at the the manifest here uh we can see it has a uh, number of activities uh, we can see that it, some activities has um has the property exported to set which means that we can actually launch this activity from outside the app um so even though we had the the logging like the where we ended when we started the app so here we can we can trigger uh, another view directly so for instance the view profile um it's another view or activity that we can trigger so either we can trigger this through um another app on the on the phone but we can also trigger, trigger it uh with a command of the activity manager am so we can do am start and let's see what the name was activities view profile so we can do um the first we need the application uh, identifier go try uh, goat slash and then the activity so activities activities profile so hopefully when i run this we will So we ended up on the uh, on this page instead. So, so now we're logged in, even though we're not. Um, what else do we have in this app? And again, all of this is without me like doing any changes on the manifest and recompiling and and, and uh, adding it to the phone again. Here we have a broadcast receiver that receives intents and uh, so any other application on this on, on this phone can can trigger an event that gets received to this broadcast receiver of the forgo app so uh, we can look at this this um the code of this receiver so here it receives the intent um and what it does is it takes the event, uh, takes um, so the event can contain like name value pairs. pairs. So here's uh, it takes two uh, parameters. One is phone number and one is message, and then just uh, sends a text message uh, with those value those parameters. So without checking any authorization or anything. So 
since this app has the permission to send uh, text messages, we can uh, use the exposed receiver, broadcast receiver, uh, to send any SMS from another app. So another app can trigger this event or this intent and um, relay messages from through the, the Forgo app and uh, bypass the, the permission check of that app. So it will send the SMS in the context of the Forgo app instead of the original app. So that's one way or two ways of, of doing proper platform usage. Insecure data storage, that might be like you, you store stuff uh, outside. So every app on the Android uh, phone has their own kind of protected um, storage. So it uses SLinux in the, in, in the background. So every app running on the, on the phone is running on a separate user context. And uh, it also has a folder connected to the app which only that user has access to read and write to so as long as you uh, store stuff in that folder you're good uh, but if you start to like store stuff uh, on the sd card or wherever um, uh, it might be possible for or other apps can access that data um, insecure communication yeah you're not using ssl so again if you're using http it's easy to intercept the connection and uh, change uh, things. Uh, and that might even uh, end up in uh, SQL injection in the app. So a lot of times uh, apps use uh, SQLite uh, databases to store data uh, in the app. So if you use an HTTP, HTTP, unpredicted HTTP call to a backend and you can modify the data and you don't have proper sanitization of the parameters coming into the app, uh, you can do a SQL injection, injection on the SQLite database of the app and, and retrieve data that you shouldn't uh, be able to do. So um, yeah, there are a lot of different things that can go wrong in, uh, in an app. So I won't go through all of these, but um, be sure to check it out. So to wrap up, um, the tools I used in this uh, presentation was uh, ADB, which is part of the Android SDK. Uh, I used it to pull um, files from the phone, install apps, uh, etc. Um, I was using APK tool to um, to compile, uh, so decompile and compile apps. I used Uber APK signer to sign the apps. Uh, these two I actually was using through APK Studio. Um, I was using IDEA as the IDE, and uh, I, I was using a plugin to IDEA, e, a, IDEA called IDEA Smalley, which enables kind of Smalley uh, syntax highlighting and uh, debugging in IDEA. So all of these tools are free and open source. Um, there are tools that you can use that makes it possible to um, intercept calls and even modify calls on the fly on the phone. So if you have a rooted phone, uh, you can, for instance, uh, hijack the socket connect call to, to log, all the, log all of those connect calls, for instance. Um, there are also other completely automated tools, for instance, the mob SF, uh, which takes, uh, I can actually show, uh, so it does like a, uh, you, you just uh, it has a web interface you it, it's running as a um, docker image um, as a web interface you upload the apk it will parse it and it shows you like the different activity services receivers providers um, it lists the permissions and also do some kind of manifest uh, manifest analysts analysis of uh, uh, like incorrect things that you do in the manifest. So here, for instance, is using a single ton of an activity that can potentially leak uh, sensitive information. These tools are kind of nice uh, to use. Uh, another tool is the Quick Android Review Kit. It's developed by LinkedIn, the security team at LinkedIn. This tool can analyze different things uh, of your app, for instance, the, the manifest, etc. Uh, Drosser uh, is another tool to 
uh, it has an agent that you install on the phone and then a command line utility that you can do uh, different kind of poking around in, in install on the installed apps on, on the phone. So yeah, um, I think that was it uh, for this time. Uh, so uh, here are some of the resources that I was talking about uh, during the talk. And um, yeah, thank you very much.